the same room, proving that we live in the same dimension, truthfully. He lives like eight minutes away, actually. Mm -hmm. um, we also got DS3 running camera. Uh, so, hello. We missed Thursday's stream, so that we're making up for it a little bit. Uh, we're gonna do a little work here in the garage. And by garage, I mean studio. And by studio, I mean garage. He's mute today, <laughs> uh, apparently. <laughs> No, that's the plan. Yeah, uh, we are we are in the machine right now. That's that's kind of freaking me out. That's that's odd. So a couple a couple whiles ago, I can't remember when our last uh, DS stream was, but we talked in detail about some pickups we've got going for Dimmer Star Day Seven trailer now available on YouTube, uh, which includes some uh, new interiors we're shooting for this uh, giant drilling machine that's coming to kill everybody. So. We've been building that, and we just wanted to do a little bit of work. Um, DS2 seen it kind of in process, so we're uh, we're gonna lay hands on it today and see what we can do. Yeah. Um, this one I just primed this morning, so this one's kind of off limits for now until it dries a little bit more because it's also really cold and wet here. So this didn't go <laughs> the way I intended it to go, but this one uh, is ready for detailing. It's it's glued, it's primed. I think it should hold together, hopefully for one more week. To talk about what it is real quick, because I'm, I'm shocked. It looks like steel to me, just standing here looking at it, but like, yeah. It's cardboard. We've got cardboard, realness. We've got, it's just boxes um, that you prime, you, you, uh, Lowe's has some beautiful uh, hammered steel. Um, yeah, and then uh, you just try to do some things, you know, to, you know, you put nails in it, even though it's cardboard. Don't. Don't show the cardboard. Um, you know, you can show. Uh, but, so today, we're gonna try to make it look even more real. So we're gonna do things like detail the knobs. We've got all these little fun knobs. Some of them. Uh, here, I've got some loose ones I can show. Uh, do I? Okay. I think. So I've got these knobs. <laughs> um, they're oven knobs. So a lot of them say like, bake, broil. And so that's probably not, <laughs> not what we want in our giant steampunk drilling machine. So we want to knock that kind of stuff off, but also give it some intent. We want to give it some color. So we've got, I've got some paints laid out here. Um, the, this, this segment of the Dimmer Star universe is very, like, <laughs> um, its palette is limited, let's say. It's very rust and oil and steel. So we have all of our sort of metals. And then I've got some primaries here, so we could do knobs. Uh, you know, I imagine they've got different colors signifying different things that the knobs do. And if we want to hit those, you know, with a bright color, then we'll also want to go back later and make it nasty. Because we're thinking this is what, like a 20 year old plus oh, yeah. machine. So it's probably been, been through it, is what I'm trying to say. And well worn, like in the moment, too. I think it's, you know, it's gone through some stress in the last few days that were. That's the main thing I think yeah. we want to get across is that um, in the film, the machine is very much just sort of a, uh, a specter, you know, and you really only get to see it in these little, not little, but the, these, these snippets, very acute snippets. Um, so the story we want to build on is that, is that of the crew and, and, and in these little, short little inserts that we're doing, try to tell the story of the crew's work just as, as hard as our heroes have at this point. Even though these are villains, um, we still want to humanize them in that way. So I think that's what gets to us saying. We want to make it look like we've been through hell here. We've been had a lot of outbursts and s some squirts and some oil spills. <laughs> some squirts. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I made a couple boo-boos this morning. I hit my styrofoam. Don't spray styrofoam with spray paint. It eats it, and I was so careful, and it, and it, it happened. So anyway, let's get started. One thing I, I'm gonna I'm gonna assign to DS2 because I've been putting it off is uh, I've got this beautiful bouquet of pressure gauges, um, and I'm gonna have him pr uh, uh, paint the what is that? Just stalk? We'll call that the stalk. Mm -hmm. um, paint it black, black satin. Because we want to. One thing too is I love this typewriter I got it many years ago, and I want to try to match some of our black. Uh, appliances or whatever with what is a typewriter made out of metal that one is for sure yeah yeah <laughs> so that black dusty old metal yeah i definitely 
something like to replicate. Great. Cool. Let's get uh, into it, man. <laughs> yeah. So this will be the this will be like the typewriter paints, you yeah. know, and then we can detail on top of that. So yeah, I'll, uh, let's get set up with some paints. I am going to demo uh, some some more cardboard work. We're gonna call it, and to show I can kind of show how I built these while I'm building little um, freestanding other contraptions that we're gonna need to fill in the back and foreground with. Like we've got these cool types that we're gonna. These are gonna be freestanding. So I, <laughs> well, freestanding in air quotes. Um, so I gotta build sort of a base that we can move around with that's gonna have the aesthetic and the heft to withstand uh, these 20 pounds. 20 pounds to my gay arm, so this is probably like five pounds. Do you want some paint? Yeah, let's do it. This is chaotic, I don't like it. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'll give you a new one. Uh, uh, PS2. Cool. I don't call you PS2 in person. That's weird. Oh, <laughs> uh, we want some gloves, probably. I do. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I kind of <laughs> staged the garage, the studio garage, to not be seen in the round, and here we are seeing it all, <laughs> and that's okay. Dr. Ball, Dr. Fucknut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you haven't seen our la last stream, it's on our YouTube page. I think it's called Emergency Pre-Production Meeting. And we talk a little bit more in, in detail about what we're doing here. And the whys, and the hows, and the what fors. Yes, indeed. And we'll talk a bit about that today, too. So I'm just I'm curious about each of these knobs. I'm just I want to I want to I want a backstory for each knob. Oh my knob. goodness, that's what I was really hoping that you would invest yourself in because yeah. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. I have some ideas of it on that panel over there only because the story gets attached to, to some of the stuff I know that we're gonna put our hands on. Right. Well, yeah, I want to know what all this shit does, man. Mm -hmm. I think an important question is like how often is each one used because you got you know wear and tear on certain ones that are used a lot. Well, so, like, yeah. You know, Differing wear and tear, yeah, that's a good yeah. idea. Um, I would, you know, this seems important to me. This panel, right? Um, also, I had a question. <laughs> I almost painted over this. This is this was like a bread box that I made into an ammunition box uh, for something, mm -hmm. and it says in Russian ammunition. I just want. Should we just leave that? I think it'd be cool. To leave Look how well it goes with this. This right. was painted like ten years ago. Right. You know. Um, I should leave that. I think it's cool. But then we could, because one thing too is I, I just want there to be a lot of just stuff, you know, like oh yeah, and then grease and stuff. Grease, yeah. That's just you know, I I, I feel like it's probably they've got you know we, we've got stuff leaking here. Um, right. I'm gonna, I'm this is the first thing I personally detail because I want to make these look really greasy and like they've always had smoke exhaust coming out of these and it's just clung to everything. Yeah, and the machine's like stressed at this point too so it's like hemor hemorrhaging from the inside mm, you know as far as, yeah, yeah 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 that's a cool idea yeah uh cool well only because i talked about it let's uh let's get these bad boys painted if you want to just throw them i don't know i don't really have any workspace at this juncture that'll work um and then there's some paint brushes in that paint, you see my foot. Yeah. So this three way, I guess, uh, if when you swing to each one of us, we could take it and talk. Like when you want, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Versus us trying to talk over each other when we're both doing separate things. I would Sounds not to be a control freak. I would use this because. Because I think it'll get in the crevices better. Oh, that's okay. It's got more uh, the firmness to it. Cool. And if you wanted, um, like, what do you, what's your vision for? You said what color? Mm -hmm. What do you, what are you thinking? Uh, like at a glance, maybe they they would need to see what what gauge relates to what knob or whatever. You know, if it's uh. like red. 
So we would keep to Something. maybe we keep to these four. Okay. That'll be easy. So we just I'm trying to stay away from purples. Um, right. Okay. For a reason, but I think if we keep primary and then a green, I picture a green knob. Yeah. Being least utilized. Right. So maybe that's like the most important pieces of green. So you you think the drill stuff wouldn't be utilized very much, right? The drill controls, because that's usually only done once they reach the site. Gotcha. So. Drill controls are over there, though, I have to say. Okay. That's the, the one part I do know, because I know that your, your red switch that you flip yeah. is over there. So you're thinking all this is navigation, and all these gauges are just navigation and engine? I think that, that maybe one or two, maybe a big, one big, there's seven of them. Yeah. Oh, I forgot one. Um, so one big and one little are green. Okay. Because that probably says something about the drill. Right. And then uh, the others can be the rest of the navigation and, cool. and the treads and the and the ore drive. So do you want to do we want to do we want to pick what's what right now? Let me get these painted black first. Okay, right? start out and making selections. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. I fucked this up. I forgot you were waiting for me to give you paint. <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Is this some of the best paint I've ever used? I won't say where it's from because I hate the place that it's from, but I really like the paint. Yeah. It's expensive, <laughs> but worth it. I've been using it for a lot of things. I probably shouldn't put my paint on my painted set piece, but I'm an idiot. It gives it that, you know. Lived in feel. Yes, let's just see. <laughs> if I end up being hard to step around, just let me know. Mm -hmm. So give us some give us some story here. What's going through your mind day seven wise when you're painting these? Well, Right, uh, I guess right now just the vibrations or like the uh, the amount of turbulence that's going to be going on while we're seeing these gauges, mm -hmm. and how that'll affect the colors. Like if, if these sticks are vibrating, you know, and oscillating, how that might look or how that might change a character's ideas about what they're doing. I don't know. So I'm guessing this would be this would be standard across all machines. For the most part, color coding wise. Maybe not though, maybe different countries and different uh, houses have different uh, ways of doing things. And if they're colorblind, that's something we should think about too. Like, if, uh, like I really think one of the characters in the cockpit should be colorblind. I think that would add a layer of. Uh, something to the performance. You said colorblind? Yeah. Because like they're talented as far as we can tell, you know, but like if they have some kind of something keeping them back, you know. Right. Do you care if this stuff gets painted at all? The metal? No. Okay. No. I would just uh, avoid it unless you're being intentional. Okay. But, I mean, you're seeing a close-up view of how I rigged those together, so it's not like it's pretty to begin with. It's a lot of hot glue. Just remove the wood. Exactly. You said something, you said about, you talked about um, breaking a couple of these, like the faces of them. Yeah. Um, I, I was afraid to try it, but I would like to. It's just that they're plastic. Do you think they're gonna shatter like glass would? Good question. Because we could get like a screwdriver and hammer it. Right. And get one of those meat thermometers that I brought and just try it out on those. It's probably the same material. Um. 
like trying right now. Okay. Where's my screwdriver? That'd be good television breaking glass. <laughs> Where's my safety goggles? I thought I put them on the table, but I don't know. What am I trying to say here? Our prop. That I have to detail too, by the way. How am I supposed to do this? Yeah, Get right. Smash it with a hammer. Smash it with a hammer. This is the dumbest thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> <laughs> How do I smash it with a hammer? I put it down on solid surface and but. give it a good whack. Oh yeah, it's not flat, is it? <laughs> oh boy. Kids? Yeah, I don't know. This is some thick ass plastic. I don't know. Just forget it. We can simulate it. Ah, uh, yes we can. I'm too much of a pussy to do that, so. So, hey, by the way, I think there's some birds living on our wall. Oh, mm. I hear them at night. Well, that's not good. No, no, it's not. I'll probably need this too for this room. I need that. I mean, I'm thinking, you know, this for the pipes to stand in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. But we're, we are going to have to rig it somehow. Plus, they're, they're too tall to, to fit in here. So. Yeah. I need, really need to look at you in frame with them. Because mm -hmm. it's all based on how tall you are. Okay. For where the top of the frame is going to be. Do you want to go ahead and do that now? No. That's okay. Okay. Um, I just, I don't think, yeah. you know, I talked about there being this freestanding piece with the pipes coming out and we could move it around and use it, you know, in different shots. So it could be different pipes in the background depending on how they're oriented. Right. I don't know how feasible that is now that I've built them and seen how heavy <laughs> they are. Right. Because hmm. they're not cardboard. I don't know how to, how to, how to stand them up. Because I was thinking of building for the inside, I would have like a mid range, sort of like a shelf that would help stay, you know, keep them stationary in here. Right. So they would go through basically like this layer and that layer and sit. That could probably glue them. Right. And then put, <laughs> you brought some lawnmower blades. I was thinking of putting those in there to weight it down. That's good. Yeah, they're heavy. Um, and then. Maybe I'll, ultimately I would need to build a brace for the top pipes so they're all one piece and then we connect it all to like the garage door stuff. Yeah, the top heaviness is going to be a challenge. Those little brackets that we got at Lowe's, you know, those metal brackets, mm -hmm. is there any way we can use those to yeah. like tighten it or wrap it around something? Yeah, I'm going to have to use one. Uh, to it's actually on this one because it's kind of not. Oh yeah. Super, so I'm gonna put one like here, attaching it so it's all one piece and it's not actually it's not actually having to support any of itself. Right. Because these pieces that hang out, I mean, this would make sense. Phys physics wise, if this kept going up into other pipes, but because they're not, it's all just kind of all the weight is right here. Right. You know. That's 
very important that we have that. It's very important. People. Okay, well. The people have their sight. Is that CO Bibble? It is. CO Bibble. Hell yeah. Forgot his name, but yeah, that's him. <clears throat> <laughs> that name can only be him. Y yes. He's the governor of Theed. C.O. Bibble. And he looks like the mayor of Munchkinland. Right. Like in his, in his stylization. And I think that that's uh, deliberate. Yeah. Deliberate. So, since I can't do this without that, I'm going to go ahead and detail these events because I can't wait. Actually, I need some water. Hold on a second. I guess it's just me and you. Uh, I guess so. Do you paint DS3? No. I don't either. I'd like to learn. What? Landscapes? I don't know. I'm just painting. Feels good. <laughs> it's therapeutic, I suppose. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, they don't have tape. Oh, they would have to yeah. use some kind of like, they would use, like for what? Uh, like tying, you know, like to tie cloth or whatever, or pipes or like. Yeah, that would be more like, uh, like rope or, yeah, like cloth. I gotcha. That'd be a good detail though, to tell on some of these. Yeah, I'm also gonna run like this thin. Well, a mixture of this thin kind of string right here. Yeah. And uh, the twine that I have. Kind of like threw them around them to give them more shape and texture and excitement, you know? Yeah, right. Cool. But that already, just them being black like that, I feel like changes the whole aesthetic of them. Especially mm -hmm. when they're with that whole black contraption, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the first time you actually got to use a typewriter in, the, in a movie? Yes. That's great. Because yes. I'll help y'all haul that thing around. I know. <laughs> From house to house to house, I know. It, it does look really cool. This isn't as fun as I thought it was going to be. I don't need dilute if that's what I just said. I'll tell a story here. We're being riveting right now. <laughs> oh, yes. This is good TV. Oh, yes, indeed. So, what is that gauge you've got in your hand? What is it, uh, well, measuring? In our world, it measures PSI. Okay, that's not what I'm asking you. <laughs> in their world, I'm guessing this is some kind of hydraulic, uh, device, maybe letting the engineer know how much the tank treads are wearing or how much power is going to the, you know, mm -hmm. propelling mechanisms down below. I don't know. Tank tread wear. Something I would have never considered.
Because <laughs> there's like a, there's just a, there's a lot of steam going through this thing, right? Mm -hmm. And everything depends on the steam moving through at the right pace and the right balance. Ooh. <laughs> Lost control of it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. Yeah. Mitch McConnell. I know. Mitch McConnell is very happy to see <laughs> that. Look at that. Well, he would be happy to oh, see the shadow take shape. Don't worry, y'all. This ain't getting a close-up in the, the movie, so don't judge this. It's at a glance. My butt crack is hanging out. Nobody look. Nobody look. Look how cute that looks. I mean, it doesn't look cute. <laughs> it looks... Which is what we want, right? <laughs> I don't know about that. I guess there would have to be toilets on the machine of some sort, wouldn't there? And plumbing. Uh, maybe, maybe it's a fuel source. Oh, there you go. Maybe they use it for a heating unit. It's, it uh, runs on fecal matter. Yeah. That's green of them. The, you know how they have steam boxes? It's a fart box. <laughs> I like it. What did you say? So that's very green of them. It is green or brown. <laughs> it's very green in this mining corporation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that are coming to destroy these sacred caves. I wish I could just pour legit oil on this, but I guess I can't do that. PS3, can I, can I pour oil in our garage? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> There's your answer. <laughs> you have to answer to the property management yeah, people, yeah, unfortunately. That's, that's, that's the, the sad truth. If we owned this house, it'd be it it it'd just be a film studio. I'm afraid <laughs> with an oil pit. <laughs> oh. You still painting those goddamn things? Oh yeah. Okay. Don't rush me. I'll try. I'm just out of my element here, fella. <laughs> I'm just. I'm just kidding. Don't look at this. It's. I. I, I was really excited about it at first, and now I'm just not. <laughs> excited. It's a little too. Oh God. Oh. Oh, we're going. <laughs> we're going off track. Oh God. I don't hate it. Gonna pour some more freak. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, Some more McConnell's. <laughs> I feel like we need some kind of montage. Of Mitch McConnell? No. Got this. Yeah, and to do a time lapse, speed this up. Well, that's more <laughs> up to you than it is to me. Oh, okay. well. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. 
more fan of that. What? Bob Ross painting hell machines and mm. things like that. Oh, I'm sir. I'm sir. Was Beksinski? He could, he could do some. Ooh. You can't elicit that name in here. We have to change the whole aesthetic. That's true. I'm too tentative with it. I'm always too tentative, and then we get it on camera, and it's like it barely reads. You know? See, I'm wiping it. Why am I wiping it away? It needs to be dirty. I just, I get scared. <laughs> Don't be scared. It's sort of like editing a movie. You get scared to lose stuff or to tarnish what you built. But that's the whole point. You have to strip it down. I'm bad about that too. I'm like, oh, but don't take that frame out. I need that one frame <laughs> to sleep at night. What's the you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wise words. What you say want me to. Hey. Look forward to your next little bit. Okay. Yeah, you're giving me real uh, Corbin Dallas energy today. I'm thrilled. Yeah, there you go. Do I know who that is? Corbin Dallas? Yeah. Multipass. What is it? Oh. 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 Mmm. Oh, yes. Uh, Fifth Element. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Why don't you tell me that was white over there? Can't be white. You should have told me. You should have told me. Okay, well now I just gotta get the rest of the machine that dirty. You ever seen an orangutan paint <laughs> in the water? I've never seen that in DS3. <laughs> Have you been that? <laughs> Have you been that? <laughs> Apparently. Aww. Look at this commentary. <laughs> Corbin Dallas, I'll give you, I'll give you, Unbreakable, Bruce Willis. Oh, less dialogue. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you are hyper focused on that. I'm, I'm saying that's a good thing. I'm not ribbing you. <laughs> That's the time. Your last, yeah. your last one. It is. Then what are you gonna do? I don't know. I'm gonna do whatever you guys tell me to do. <laughs> That's too. You can't. You can't let people know that it was painted. People are supposed to believe this stuff just came out of nowhere. Seems like antithetical to what we're doing right now. Okay, well, welcome to my world. <laughs> make a movie, but don't make a movie. It can't be a movie. It has to not be a movie. Let's live stream the painting process. Hey. I was trying to make up for missing the stream. And so I invited your monkey ass over here. And I'll get it for you. I gave you grief in return. Seems like a fair trade. <laughs> Can I have some of this? <laughs> Take all you want. Uh, I'm... I'm moving too slowly. I have to just bite the bullet here. Because the grease has no artist to place it. The grease places itself with abandon. <laughs> Should we <laughs> have any sand? Mm. Or is that too fine and detailed to be noticed? Well, tell me what you're thinking. Because I had a similar idea. I'm thinking, uh, you know, the uh, folks who hop on a machine 
little bit later than the rest might pack something in now. Right, like show some kind of um, evidence of the sons of Talos being on the machine. Yeah. Um, God, I didn't go hard enough on this one. <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking, because we talked about, like, Furcast probably wouldn't be in the cockpit very much, but Solas might. Mm -hmm. But I, I was looking for some something I had that uh, would kind of be a signifier of that, like some kind of, like, uh, you know, mortar and pestle and all that. Right. Something, and then you could have, like, sand, maybe some different weird little rocks and stuff, like he had been divining up here. Yeah. But all the stuff that I found, we'd already used for <laughs> okay. Yeah. But that you're just saying that there would be a build up of sand or, or just traces of it. Or if uh they brought some special kind of sand to bless the machine with, I don't know. <laughs> or it could like crust down out of the vents, I don't know. Nishmagon likes the drips. <laughs> he has the drips, man. It's more like Edgar. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, no, no. I ruined it. Oh, God. Get a good pull. Look how much more that is than that. Uh, See, this is what I was talking about. It's too tentative. Much too tentative. Now I'm a little too brazen, oh god. It's fine, it needs to read. You have to use color, you have to use paint for it to read. Okay. All right. Great. This is great. Thank you so much. So, we need to make, we have to make some color decisions. Sure. So four colors and seven rods. And you said uh, two. We're gonna be green. Yeah. So let's go with the drill. So it was five. What what hits you? That that is unusual. Um, uh, okay, yellow. Mm -hmm. Captain. When you see yellow. Makes you think of. We have this four called. I can't remember what it's called, but it's yellow. Yep. Um, and I think I talked about it being used as. It's not like CAC. It's like uh, something like that. It's like a gasoline. Mm -hmm. Fuel lines or fuel intake. Help me with this. I don't know anything about machines. Yeah. I'm just building one. Maybe. Uh waste or something or like or um, what would it power because the engines are powered by steam the engines are powered by ore yeah and steam there's right. steam stone and in, in this yellow there's a lot of ores but they're, they're right. fed and doing different things so like there's fuel and steam going yeah I would say that might just be a measure of the fuel you think in the, in the tank or in the in the reserves or something. So fuel is not being used right now, but it's showing how much is in there. Mama, we got four colors. We don't have to get that granule with it. Can we just say fuel? Yeah, we can say fuel. Because we have to do other knobs <laughs> that tie with the yellow, right? Sure, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
You set me off on these little pig pads. I know. I, I, I let you go too back. long. I realized that. I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. You need to give me like He's going to start writing the manual here. Level, level three world building, level two. Level fucking point five <laughs> right in this moment. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now I'll do this without yelling at you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Red. So what's it tied to? Um, well, you've got your red switch, but we said green was the drill. Red is just like, this is the big switch, you know? Right. So red, you've got your red. Oh, okay, the pilot is in red. Mm-hmm. So, would it tie to him? Yeah, that, that would make sense. So that would be like, um, maybe whatever hydraulic type stuff is pushing the machine one way or the other, steering. Okay, let me add this, this wrinkle to it. Um, red in the film mm-hmm. is used for like trauma and memory mm-hmm. and um, aggressive, aggression. Right. Um, aggressive. <clears throat> it's like loss of control. <clears throat> mm-hmm. You have some questions in the chat. Oh, okay. can you read them to us? Uh, what are you building? Sounds cool, whatever this machine is. Um, yeah. Okay, hi. <laughs> we are building a set for um, our uh, some pickups we're doing for our feature film called Dimmer Star Day 7. We shot it a, a few years back, and uh, as we're trying to finish it, we're like 95% the way, percent of the way done. Uh, we had to shoot some new stuff to fill some gaps. So we're shooting that in, um, you know, six days. So we're trying to finish up the little set that we're building here in the garage. Was that the, the question? Yeah. I think it might have been too late. I'm not sure. Oh, if this person's sorry. Still there. Yeah. So, anyway. No. Cool. Yeah. Yes, and if you want to know, we we talked a little bit about it on our last stream. But if you want to know more, I've got some YouTube stuff at our Dimmer Star YouTube page. You can see the trailer for the film, but we also have some other making of stuff that talks about the the film. So control, or lack thereof. Okay, so it's like. Okay, so like piloting, yes, and navigation, and maybe just like one gauge. You think for right. that? Yeah, a big one. Yeah. Okay. I like how it withhold the paint from you until you can tell me what it's for. <laughs> <laughs> That's really fucked up. It's like a hey, uh, well, in the shrines in Zelda, like a little monk meditating yes. with the paint. You must solve the puzzle, and then you will be. Gifted with the paints. Okay, so we have one red, two green. That leaves four. So, um, I guess two yellow, two blue. Yeah. So, so blue. This is a gorgeous green. I must say. I hope it's not. Oh, it's a little watery. It'll, it'll work. Um, all right. So blue. Oh, that's not any good. These paints are from like art school. They're a little past their expiration, I'm afraid. (laughs) Don't listen to my stomach growl, by the way. Okay. Oh, I didn't. Oh, see, I ruined it. Now we'll never know what blue is because I gave it to you before we solved the puzzle. Right. I was trying to think on the fly for a second. Uh, temperature maybe, or I don't know. What is that noise? I think it's them birds I was telling you about. There's the there's I hear things moving in the walls. Birds birds chirping. <laughs> the hell does a bird get in the wall? <sighs> I don't want it to be this. But water. What's oh, yeah. blue in the what's blue in the blue is barns, you know? Mm-hmm. Um Wastewater, maybe like the or not not the wastewater, but like the water they shoot into piping and stuff to clean it or to get all the gunk out of it. Like coolant, maybe. That that, that works good. Yeah. We'll say water systems. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay. Because they would need they would need uh, 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 drinkable water too. I think. Nah. And stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do, do so that. Makes sense to me that there's 
two water system gauges, two okay. fuel gauges, two drill gauges, and one control gauge. Okay. Because I don't know what that would even really be saying. We get a preference for this one with the big thing on the top. Let's see. He's, he's up front. Let's do red. Because we're also on day seven. <laughs> that makes no sense to anybody but me and you. Uh, mm -hmm. the, during the, for the color theory of the film, uh, each day is sort of color coded, and day seven is red. It starts with that color. So. Right. And that's going to be up, needs to be up front in that face when we get that close up. So. Mm -hmm. Big boy's red. Do we know what, the numbers of what's what? Uh, just big boy for red. Two small ones. Okay. <laughs> so, large to me it says importance mm -hmm. of the gauge. So, if we have two blue, what would be more important, or two yellow? Uh, like, yellow, I'd say yellow. Yellow would have a bigger one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So these are blue. Yeah. These aren't prime, so I don't know how it's gonna, but it needs to kind of look not nice. cute. Right. Uh, it'll be all right. I just suck at painting. <laughs> so, uh, I guess after this, can try to put those pipes in that box and cool. try to rig them so they're kind of a little more self-contained than they are right now so then I can prime them and paint them DS2 is not the greatest multitasker <laughs> in the world everyone <laughs> he's sitting and thinking and he's not including us in his thoughts uh, he seems to forget that he has an audience. <laughs> <laughs> that is clear to all of us who are observing you. So, any more questions from chat would be great as a prompter. <laughs> so far, the not. Okay, no worries. Um, I, I'm, I'm glad that we're doing colors here. Mm -hmm. uh, this is going to give that corner of the set kind of a nice little pop. There's also going to be some Christmas lights back there, but it'll be blue. Just a blue, uh, single or strand of blue lights? Uh, it'll be like, um, oh, okay, you, those boxes, uh, there'll be three cutouts in that top box with that'll be covered with like glass. And so, and they'll be like kind of grunge, so you'll just kind of see a blue glow, and there'll be like a grate over top of it. But okay. There'll just be some kind of luminosity happening over there, cool. too, to give everything a little splash. Do you want this cap blue or red? Neither. Okay. <laughs> so leave it, I guess, for now. Mm -hmm. We're not gonna see behind, are we? Uh, I I did paint just in case it, okay. there's a peep, but I, I doubt it. Oh, you just saw me do the worst swipe of paint. That's all right. Cause like this is uh, okay, yeah. But we're gonna make them look really gross too. Cause like everything has to be covered in that grime, including like the actors. We should make a short film where like the they hire a crew to come on and clean the machine. Especially after the Sons of Talos have been there. But like like Mary Maids? Yeah. That's the movie. Uh-huh. And they're just finding weird shit. 
Yeah. All right, it's very streaky, but it is. That's what I was worried about since they're not primed, but I kind of don't want them to look super pretty. Right. I've already been at it for almost an hour. Really? 50, 51 minutes. What time is that? I have no idea. No, oh, because DS2 has like a hard out. Well, I'm not 100% sure what time it is. No. Oh, it's 4.30. We said this other big one is yellow, right? Mm-hmm. Great. Oh, it still has its price sticker on. <laughs> if anyone recognizes these from Lowe's, it's because that's where they're from. <laughs> A nice lady helped us find them the other day. Yeah, she was nice. She didn't give us too weird of a look when we said we wanted one of them just for a film. Oh my god, okay, let me tell this anecdote. Uh, DS3 and I went to Lowe's a couple weeks back, and we had the worst experience with this... Um, older gentleman who like totally had no idea what we were asking for and uh, but thought he did and so he was trying to tell us all kinds of things we didn't need and try to explain to me why I'm stupid essentially <laughs> but then when DS2 and I went uh, there was this younger girl and I basically just said hey I'm, I'm putting props together for a movie uh, I need gauges and she was like got it and she just walked us over there and we got it it was very pleasant yeah i remember that guy uh-huh i basically had to ask him about a random thing so he would shut the fuck up like <laughs> that i didn't need i said where are your doorknobs just just to get him to stop talking to me and trying to tell me what i needed god bless him are you gonna go poop no oh. a different brush for different color Uh, they're all kind of shitty that, uh, uh, I think, hey, you see that Ziploc bag right there? I think there's more brushes in there. Okay. The hunt for a stiffer one. The hunt for a stiffer one. Oh, yeah. This is the shittiest brush I could have chosen. I'm just sort of wiping paint onto it. <laughs> it's kind of pretty though. <laughs> okay, <laughs> he's in. <laughs> the weird shit I have to listen to when I'm working out here late at night. There's just movement. One time there was that cicada that attacked me. I think it's rain. Rain, rain sleep. It's gonna be freezing rain. Yeah. Oh yeah, probably asleep. It finally decided to actually be winter for <laughs> all of a sudden. Oh, 
so <laughs> it's something in there. Streaky. But I mean, just it's not like this is the star of the show. Yeah. I'm telling you. As in, like, let's not, <laughs> let's not uh, get close-ups of these guys <laughs> in the, no, I, I mean in the movie. No. Everyone can see how ugly it is now, I don't, <laughs> I don't care about that. We'll just, we'll just CG over it, how about that? <laughs> there you go. We'll just, <laughs> we'll just have our VFX guy build a CG machine and... <laughs> I mean, interior. Let's go Sin City with it. Are you picturing this looking kind of like that aesthetic of like that, uh, well, Sin City popped in my head, but like the, the harsh white and black? Uh, well, so kind of. But kind of not. It's kind of. I guess it'll just depend on how what the light actually does. But I feel like yeah. it'll be the harsh white because we're doing the luma key. So ultimately, and it will be blown out. So ultimately, like whatever with the the uh, plates we put back there, right. with very little color uh, and a lot of contrast. Mm -hmm. But like I think because we'll be using a silk as our key light, I think y'all's shadows and stuff will be really soft. Um, like the wrap around will be really soft, so it'll it'll have this kind of like high contrast but softness to it. Hopefully, yeah. plus with like the steam and the fog and stuff, it'll give it this kind of like sauna feel. Mm -hmm. Aesthetically, that's the plan anyway. But like hot, hot. right? Yeah, you're thinking it's really hot in there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You know it's really cold outside. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna spritz y'all so you're sweaty and that'll feel really good in this cold garage, huh? Yeah. Let me spritz you. Yeah, it's interesting. <laughs> the lollipop guild. <laughs> <laughs> it's doing what I I feared. I might have to hit those later with another because it's looking a lot yellow. Mm -hmm. That's okay. But the good thing is we have our paints here, and so we can start matching up after this. We can match up our um, knobs. Yeah, that's, that's gonna look cool. And start thinking about this, and maybe um, we might could hit these too. I, I I did those at like one. I sprayed this. I think you can add other coats on top of it pretty quickly. Okay. Because I would love to have your input on the the knobs over here. Right. So I don't go hog wild and you're like no this isn't the one for the the fuel pooper or whatever <laughs> whatever machine names are yeah i wish i had taken shop class mm -hmm. do you ever wish that no oh <laughs> okay i took it for like a week oh you did yeah. <clears throat> couldn't quite get that birdhouse huh well it was a auto mechanics class for the most part i think oh. both auto mechanics and shop See, I think I would have liked that. Oh, why don't I do that? I took like a farming class. Huh. I thought it would be easy. I mean, it was easy. Yeah. But I didn't get any skills either, so there's the double-edged sword. I stored. <laughs> so, DS2 monologue. I'm gonna go with DS2 monologue, all right. Find out what time it is. Um, let's see, so we're done painting the gauges. Uh -huh. That's good. Yeah. Um, yeah. What should I monologue about? I guess, um, environmentally? Yeah, I guess what I'm curious about is, like, uh, just what it feels like, what it feels like to be in that space, because I'm, we haven't talked much about, like, headspace, but, like, as far as ceiling, how much headroom they have, uh, how claustrophobic they feel, how good it would feel to look out the window, but also terrifying because you're so high up. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to get character, uh, I guess not character motivations, but character headspace yeah. vibes. That's what I'm thinking about a lot. Um, I don't know if I can smoke on Twitch. It might be TOS. 
But, um... <laughs> this is a cigarette. I'm not smoking a blunt over here. <laughs> Another consideration is with, like, the gauges. Like, how far away do you have to be to see them? So if they're up on that thing, can I be over here and look over and see and mm -hmm. make a judgment call? Probably not. Yeah. Because I think, that didn't we say, like, this thing is typically manned by, like, four people? And, like, they're talking to each other and doing hand signals and all that kind of stuff to navigate. At least four. Yeah. Maybe more like six to eight in the, in, the, in the bridge. So it might be rigged to where, like, you have to be right there with it. And probably they don't move around a whole lot when they're there. They're, like, locked into their one spot and kind of yeah. doing their thing. But these two characters have to navigate what most of the time is navigated with four people. So... So they'll have to be closer to the gauges. They're probably not used to seeing the gauges either that much. So I'm guessing they might have to squint and double check. And they're also tired, uh, probably very hungry. So they're 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 you know, not doing well with these gauges. Hmm. Um, they're shaking too. That's gonna be hard to. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm gonna paint over on so it doesn't say uh, what it says on. Yeah. So they're gonna be almost. I mean, pretty much unreadable, yeah. Right. How much, what's the cl head clearance? Like, is it like a seven foot ceiling? Probably. That they're in? Was, so it's yeah. low, right? It feels. It might be like eight with pipes. Yeah. You know, so it's probably like seven, yeah. Okay, yeah. Because it would just feel like, well, I'm, I'm picturing like as a character, you'd want to like lean toward the window because that's like your open expanse and, but it's also way, way up high. So I wonder if they would be like, uh, cause there's opportunities there for like claustrophobia and like fear of heights and stuff. Mm -hmm. And these are two characters that aren't used to being on the bridge. So they might feel that way too. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> well, all right. <laughs> Just watch while I think about it. <laughs> you can hear the wheels turning. No, they're screeching to a halt. Um, <laughs> what time is it? About 4.45. I thought you said he had to leave at 4.30. 5.30. Oh. So, like, 30 minutes tops unless I want to wrap up. Okay. You're at an hour and three minutes now. Good so. stuff. Let me do a, I'll do a scouting session. How about that? Oh. See which knobs should be which colors. Where, where are they going again? Where's the typewriter going? It's going to be, well, so that, what you're standing next to, it's going to be on this, right, on the, down on this side, and it goes in that empty space right there. Okay, gotcha. So I wonder if like the colors should correspond, like if we do yellow on the far left, should the yellow be on the far left of the gauges too? And so like when you look over here and look over here, you see the same lineup of colors. It's a great thought. Mm -hmm. um, me being a dumbass, made all my cuts based on negative space uh, of where they lay. So I would definitely want to do that. But I don't know if it's gonna line up, is what I'm saying, because they're all cut and to different sizes in order to go in the typewriter. So I see. Height. Okay, yeah. Uh, so they make a, a nice little bouquet. Yeah. I think either way it'll be fun. But follow that. I'm saying yes. I'm just I'm just mm -hmm. warning you. I may not be able to accomplish that in the final placement of the gauges because of my dumbassery. Right. It could just be like a uh, like most typical machines would have that or have that kind of set up just in case a novice does get into the space and is not used to so maybe they had to do so many retrofits it kind of got yeah. messed up mm -hmm. and they're like super confident early on when they're building the machine they're putting all stuff together early on they're like eh, this is going to be easy right and then, then like the guys in the, in the bridge are going to be doing their own thing they don't care right but then a lot of them die and others you know other things happen so and by the seventh day uh, yeah it's all different yeah. All right, so follow that. I'm observing. I, so, liked your, I liked your thought there. So I think these should be standardized. So we should have, like, 
yellow, green, blue, red, or something like that, you know, as far as the lineups of the knobs go. But those can be random, you know. Uh, and as far as what, like, we got switches and we got knobs. Um, as far as what should be over here, I'm thinking it's built for like a right-handed individual for the most part. So most important stuff is going to be like right here probably. Okay. And ancillary stuff. The blue probably is over here. I'm thinking the water control is over here. Okay. What are you thinking? Yeah, I think if we do uh, maybe like yellow um, and then we do, what's the red again? Uh, power, power or, or yeah, do you like a red Control. and a green and a blue and a green. Mm -hmm. So maybe the blue and the green goes into like water control for drill or something. Yeah, that makes sense. And then we kind of replicate that. We go with, you know, if we, if we, if we make our decisions here and then we can just put that, put that idea throughout the, right. the control room mm -hmm. here. And the way these knobs, I think we should do whatever we, we should just paint this part the color Okay, yeah. And then I'll just paint this black and then I'll do the detailing on all of it to make it gross looking. Cool. Um, and then for these, you know, just try to hit, try to be as clean as you can. Mm -hmm. An edge on the side of, well, it doesn't matter. Just try to be as clean as you can, but don't worry about it if you get it on here because I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to make it all look Grab horrible. it up anyway. Yeah, so who, who, who do you want to do? We're just going to go through and we're going to tag team it. Okay. Uh, why don't I... Since these will be less visible, why don't I start down here? <laughs> I can practice the technique. Okay. <laughs> that was a classic DS2 caution. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna start with yellow, I think. Oh, okay. Are you starting with yellow? <laughs> yes. Oh, never mind then, yeah. I'm gonna do uh, red. These aren't. It holds paint. It holds paint. So you say along the sides? Well, or just the whole thing? You see how I'm doing right now? Yeah. And then I'll um, knock them with black, you know? Okay. So I'm just going to get a random one down here for red. Ooh, yeah, and here's another. Don't press too hard, please. I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty. So this one would be yellow. Do you think? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. This one. Uh, I'm thinking left. this one. Actually, yellow would look good there, wouldn't yeah. it? say just once you feel like it's covered you know I wouldn't worry about um, total prettiness or whatever yeah because it all this is like the middle layer and then the right. top layer yeah hmm? that'll spill that'll spill yeah yeah I'm about to make it worse oh I, I think that's hot glue that's a hot glue blob. Hmm. About two reds here, we think. Yes. So, blue, green. I like that, yeah. What did I just say? This is blue? Yes, yeah. blue now. So, or I guess I blew, blewed it. I think you blew it, yeah. I blewed it.
can't move in here. Very inconspicuous, uh, <laughs> yeah. man. Need a spotter, Andy? Yeah, I'm all right. That one didn't like the paint. Either. No, it did not. Ooh, let me just kick a hole in. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, okay. Don't. Why are you showing that? Why are you showing that? <laughs> this is the worst paint job I've ever done in my life. Wow, that is grotesque. Don't show that. <laughs> it could be one that's used often. A lot of wear and tear. Red? Yeah, or do you think blue should be on the same? Because if the control, in my mind, mm -hmm. if these are both water controls, yeah. don't you think the internalized, they're connected? Like if we're if we're looking at what they're connected to. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Or is that gonna look so blue blue red red or blue blue like yellow red? red. Uh, this will be green. Okay. And then, so that one I guess could be red. I like that. Yeah. Your red looks good. My blue looks sh sh bad. <laughs> sh bad. Is this a water control too? That would make sense. I think yeah. Welcome to our stream, Painting in Silence. Yep. <laughs> DS1 and DS2 and DS3. But it's also silent. Not silent enough. I'm just no. kidding. I'm just kidding! Will there be blood at all, you think? Um, right now? Uh, Amongst the three of us? Well, that too. There might I mean, be. I guess in the scene we'll be shooting. Blood. Where did the blood come from? Yeah, we talked about a revolt potentially happening. Mm. Or having had happened. Boy, he's standing here in this garage, uh, experiencing firsthand the tedium of painting even a single button, and he's come up with new ideas. New things for us to do. Let's get some blood up in here. Let's get some dead bodies up in here. Let's get some entrails up in here. Let's just film a full rebellion up in the garage. We got the red paint. She'll help me. <laughs> Look how shitty that looks, man. That is the worst. I can't tell if it's me or the paint or the brush. Or the knob. Uh, it's probably just the paint. You think it's bad paint? You said it was left over from like 12 years ago, so. You think that would make it go bad? <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> It's not going to make it go good. <laughs> That's true. What about her? So let's see. We got blue, yellow, red, red, blue. Green? You're not using green yet? This will be green. That'll be green. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to throw you for a loop. Let's go red. Red? Okay. More red. Yeah, we should have more red. Let's, shouldn't we? Yeah, I think we're getting a little too, uh, um, uh, kindergarten classroom, which I call it a little bit. Yeah. It's gonna read like a steampunk Star Trek, kind of. We do need color. I mean, it's all very monochrome at the moment. Uh, Got about 15 more minutes. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my. Oh lord. 
Um, okay. How about since we don't have much time, why don't we just choose? Let's we'll mark them, mm -hmm. and then I can go through and, and color them. Cool. But I definitely don't want to make those decisions by myself. So, her. Yeah, I like that idea for blue. I'm just pointing at it. What do you want, blue? Blue works. Yeah. Um, like yellow for the next one. For this one? Yeah. We're gonna leave those uh, coming mm -hmm. up with that. Okay. I mean, we, that needs to be red. Yeah. Because this is a lot of the controls. For... Yeah. All right, we got five knobs here. Mm -hmm. They also don't all have to be, you know, maybe some could be just black. Yeah, I like that idea. Um, so we'll leave those black. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe we'll leave that one black too. So the yeah. ones that aren't marked are black. I think I'm going to do that one black and this one green. green. Right? That's cool, yeah. Okay, so over here, we can go ahead and mark these. Um, a little bit. Mm -hmm. So your switch is right here for the drill. This is like the drill mechanism. Your speaker box is here, mm -hmm. and your little um, Morse code things here. Cool. And then gauges are here. And there's some like knobs and shit. But what if this is if this is like a lot of just the the drill? Right. What do you think the knobs would be coded? Yeah, I'm thinking for like communication and stuff, probably just black, black, that kind of stuff, because they're not really essential. Okay. Can we do that one red? Since yeah. Your, your switch will be right here and it's red. That would be good, yeah. <laughs> um, but since it is drill related, mm -hmm. maybe I'll do like, and then black, black. That'll look cool, yeah. For fuel? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, I know that that's yellow and not green. DS1, remember that's yellow and not green. I don't know why I'm telling you that. It's not like I'm gonna... Yeah. You gotta watch it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay, maybe just black for those. Yeah, I think so. Cool. I'm into it. Yeah, I think all the color... All right, let's do a little sign off here. Uh, I don't feel like, <laughs> well, I guess this is just a lesson in how long this shit takes to do, um, that in an hour and a half, we painted very few things, but it also, at the same time, was a lot. Like, it helps me move down the path a lot. Um, and be able to assemble some of this stuff and to do the detailing because um, it's all basically going to look like what we did here really gross and it'll make it look a lot more realistic and lived in and on camera when we get oh when we get our lights and all of our colors in here um it's going to look really fabulous yeah um so yeah thanks for watching um i I want to do more like this. I don't, you know, I think it's fun and it's different than our normal streams where we're just talking. Right. Um, so maybe we'll do that. I, you know, it wouldn't be this project because we kind of have to wrap this one up because we're shooting it on Saturday. But something else. I don't know. Yeah, yeah cool. It's fun to actually build something substantial and see <laughs> if we're making progress or not. Right. So uh, yeah, we will. Do you know how to turn that off? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we'll catch y'all later. Thanks for watching. And uh, uh, if you want to go check out our YouTube, it's Demer Star on YouTube. And we've got more like uh, build videos. Uh, DS2 has some cool. I don't think I promised that yet. Well, we'll have cool like translation videos making our fictional language for the film and stuff like that. So go check that out and subscribe. And uh, we'll catch you next time on Twitch and YouTube. Bye. See ya.